once again welcome to my workshop. Uh, today we're going to do the first real printing job. Um, we're going to print a circular cooling duct uh, for this machine which has been downloaded from the Thingiverse. Um, you must excuse the noise of fans and air conditioners running in the background uh, because it is 42 degrees C outside and it's not much cooler in here um, so basically uh, there will, I will film uh, the making of this um, and there won't be too much chit chat because uh, I know you guys find it annoying with the, the fans running in the background but that's the way it's got to be today <laughs> Okay, just so you know that I'm not joking about the temperature here, just take you to show you this. So that's uh, the time and uh, the inside temperature and the outside temperature. Now uh, this is a big steel roof shed <laughs> of 110 square meters. So uh, the fans that I got in here and uh, this little uh, refrigerated air or air conditioner unit. It's really just locally here where I'm working here. Uh, it, it's sort of cooling and trying its best to cool the rest of the shed down which is you know it's too too much for it. So um, yeah it gets a bit warm up here but uh, I do plan in the future to line the walls of this and line the ceiling so uh, it's not so much of a a problem with the heat. Although here in Tasmania it is only uh, a problem about two months of the year. Of course the other problem is the cold and yes to answer a couple of your questions, yes we do get snow here in Tasmania, southern Tasmania.
Right now. Well, there's the first real part, I suppose, useful part, um, straight off the machines. Still a little bit warm on the top here. Um, it, it's not bad. Not bad at all, actually, reproduction, as you can see. Uh, but you will notice that on the side that was uh, furthest away, or shield from uh, the cooling nozzle, there's a little bit of, uh, uh, should, should we say, fraying, and, um, but you know, it's not s totally serious, and right on the back there, on the underside, which again, which is uh, furthest away and shielded from the, um, the little cooling nozzle here, um, has tended to be a little, uh, a little frayed. Um, that's probably due to the uh, not being cooled. So this ring cooling, uh, which was downloaded from Thingiverse, and I will leave uh, down underneath here in the description um, the person who uh, d designed this. Um, but, yeah, not bad. Just clean it up a little bit with a, with a bit of, with a, well, a small, small file. We'll put it on and um, we'll see if we can get rid of that from behind uh, whatever you're printing. Although it, did, it could have, actually I can't understand why what I printed yesterday um, Day before yesterday, too. but uh, little robot that turned out perfectly all round. So this actually might have more to do with the increased temperature in here today. I mean, it's inside here in the workshop, even though I sat in front of the air conditioner. Is I, I, I think I video uh, it earlier. Still around two weeks outside. Uh, it's uh, just about a quarter to five in the afternoon. Um, and it doesn't normally start to cool down here until about, uh, about 6 o'clock. So, uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed um, watching this being made today. And um, please subscribe to my channel. And um, the little red box on my left hand side, down the bottom, but your right hand side, I've had a lot of people collect correcting me. Saying, oh, you're saying on the left hand side, but it's on the right hand side. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's sort of mirror effect when you're being uh, recorded. Um, so press on that, it'll take you to my YouTube channel. Um, and there are now 100 and, nearly 170 videos um, recently with um, 3D printing. Uh, but more so uh, CSE routing, uh, the programs that run it at CAM, uh, Mark III, uh, NC Studio. Uh, I do a lot of uh, wood turning uh, and I do a lot of shops, jobs around here, making cabinets, uh, different tools. I uh, do some metal turning as well. So uh, it's something there for everyone. So bye for now. <laughs>